And new for you this morning, restaurants near many San Diego beaches are facing new restrictions. So starting here soon, beach side restaurants will have to replace public parking spaces that are currently covered by outdoor dining areas. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in La Jolla now breaking down the new rules impact. Good morning. Uh, good morning, guys. And if you remember, the city actually went ahead and codified this outdoor dining program that allowed for restaurants to apply for two year permits and pay a fee in order to allow for them to turn parking spaces into outdoor dining spaces. However, those on the coast in the beach areas like here in La Jolla Shores were told to essentially wait on applying for those permits because they needed the Coastal Commission to rule in. And now that we know what that ruling is, it's likely many of these restaurants and businesses are going to be unhappy because last night the Coastal Commission ruled that beach restaurants can use parking spaces for outdoor dining, but must replace any and all lost parking spots. The reasoning the commission says the requirement is needed for beach access, and that's because more people take their own vehicles to the beach than public transportation. They need places to park and those have washed away essentially as the tide of outdoor dining setups have come in. Now, according to the Union Tribune, the city does not object to the commission's ruling. In fact, take a listen to the city's coastal planner explain their expectations prior to the commission's ruling. It'll be at the prerogative of the restaurant if they want to apply for it, if they want to pursue it and then design their eating area to the requirements of the design manual. And if they can demonstrate that they can replace the parking, then they can be eligible for getting the permit. But if they can't replace the parking and, you know, I don't know how familiar you are with San Diego's coastal areas, but I expect more than a few of these restaurants will not be able to provide replacement parking. Yeah, and I and, I, and according to several letters that were sent into the commission, again, that's what some of these businesses are worried about, that there's less land out here to use in the coastal areas and that without that land, it's going to be hard to find parking to replace the spots at the outdoor dining currently take up. Now, the commission did say that restaurants could work with third party businesses to replace the spots. It doesn't necessarily need to be spots directly on the property in which they operate, but it remains to be seen how easy that's going to be or how close or how far away those third party businesses may need to be. Eric and Neto. All right, Chris, thanks for breaking that all down for us this morning. The San Diego police officer who was shot in Mountain View Monday is back home with his family. And now 21 year old Andrew Garcia accused of shooting that officer is pleading not guilty. Garcia appeared before a judge yesterday and he was still in his hospital room. Police say Garcia was hospitalized after he ingested narcotics and they found him unconscious. According to police, Garcia shot the officer after leading them on a chase, then barricaded himself in an apartment for nearly 10 hours. The officer was hit once in the chest and twice in the arm. We are all extremely thankful that the officer survived his injuries and that the prognosis for him is positive. Well, Garcia was on a felony probation for a previous case and he was denied bail. He will be facing a judge again on December 23rd. Investigators are releasing the name of the man police shot and killed in City Heights. Last Thursday, San Diego police responded to a call about a man riding a bicycle and pointing a gun at his head. They say when officers arrived, they pleaded with 58 year old John Ray Romero to drop the gun. Officers followed Romero to a home near 42nd Street and University Avenue, where one officer shot him with a beanbag round. And moments later, other officers opened fire and killed Romero. Right now, the three officers who shot Romero are on desk duty while the Sheriff's Department investigates. Right now, more migrants are crossing the border. We're just one week before pandemic era border restrictions are set to end. Title 42 has been given the government power to turn away migrants, including asylum seekers. They've been citing the need to prevent COVID-19 from spreading. That's why Title 42 initially was enacted. So it's been going on right now. The federal government is warning of a potential surge of migrants at the border. We're seeing a lot of this in Texas as well. This comes after a record break breaking amount of people across the border this past year. And new this morning, all of Southern California now under a drought emergency. This is despite the rain we just got. The Metropolitan Water District of Southern California declaring this last night, saying all water agencies must immediately reduce using imported water. This actually impacts 20 million people, including right here in San Diego. Officials say the call to conserve more could become mandatory, creating even harsher water restrictions and rules for many Californians. So what we're saying to people, remember, grass is, although it's nice and green and it's beautiful when it's green, it's not essential to our livelihood. It's not essential to the health and safety of our people. What we want is when we turn the faucet to have water. And we were worried last year 
for the state water project areas on the western side of the region, that we may not have enough water for people. You can expect more restrictions if we do not get a very wet winter, especially since the Colorado River is at an historic low and recent storms did not meet an end to the drought. When we look at the data on the rivers, we find that upstream we're starting to see it fall back to levels where it was before the storm. According to the San Diego Union Tribune, San Diego gets around 13 percent of our water supplies from the MWD. Our local water authority says they could still meet local demand due to alternative water deals, improved conservation and new desalination projects. We got that rain. It helped, yeah. but we needed a lot more of those rain events, right? Right. We need back to back storms, which right now we're staying pretty dry, but we did get over an inch of rain for parts of downtown San Diego, for example, between Sunday and Monday. But we have not seen much rainfall since, of course, and it looks like long range forecast models are not really showing much in the form of the next storm. So as far as what we're seeing right now, you see Lions Peak camera. Here are some clouds that are coming through, kind of making this cool artwork across our skies. Our our sunrise time will be at 644 and we're noticing that coming through the cloud coverage coming in from the coastline side of an onshore flow that we're experiencing and you'll notice more of that cloud coverage throughout the day today as it works its way into Baja and across Southern California but not squeezing out any moisture from any of that you are waking up to freezing conditions in Ramona now 32 degrees you just dropped another degree 36 in Escondido 38 in Poway in the 40s for the coast low to mid 40s for most of you. La Mesa included, Chula Vista, downtown at 43. And this is a little bit warmer than yesterday by one or two degrees. Fallbrook, you're five degrees warmer. Probably not that noticeable since it's still just overall cold. Your afternoon highs look like this today 62 in Imperial Beach. Same with National City, La Mesa, 64 in Santee and El Cajon. In the upper 50s for La Jolla and PB, still kind of chilly there along the coast with that coastal breeze that we're going to get. And and then slightly warmer, not by much though, for inland areas. Low 60s with a mix of high clouds rolling in. So mostly cloudy conditions by later on today. We're already seeing the clouds slowly come through. I will tell you at 3 o'clock this morning, no clouds. So this is kind of a morning event that we're watching unfold. 43 in Mount Laguna taking you over for the next three days here. Downtown San Diego, we are warming up. So by Friday, 66, 65 on Saturday. El Cajon, you could get near 70 degrees by Saturday. So timing things out with that gradual warm up kind of peaking on Saturday. Obviously, it's not a major warm up, just a few degrees notch uh, moving upwards. Let's take a look at traffic here and I will point out that SIG alert that we had on the 805. Thankfully, that is now cleared. You see some residual slowing right there on the 805 northbound. It was on the southbound side where three lanes were blocked not too long ago. So they were quick to remove that before we started seeing heavier volumes out there. And then this is still going on, unfortunately, SIG alert in Poway. Looks like a vehicle had overturned in that area. One lane is blocked. Poway Road northbound right at the 67. So I think it's down to just one lane right now, but I don't see major slowing because of it. Hopefully you can avoid taking that intersection there uh, as the commute gets a little heavier as people head out on the roads. Eric.